Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 13 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. And today we get to see if Mikei's got it, what it takes to join our tribe. I wish they would get the backgrounds, you know, sorted out. We've already fixed this big old crack, there's a pool and a fountain and a bunch of buildings around. Jeez, how sloppy. Anyway, here she is. Alright, let's get this started. We're headed into the dungeon. She's kind of surprised because she thought our work was kind of selling things. Yeah, but we first need to test your magic. And second. Hmm, I'm sure he had a second reason. In any case, not only are they testing their magic and this is a good place for it, a lot of their work all actually takes them abroad. Alright, we're in a part of the understructure here with some mechanisms that have been busted to get that have been uh, encrusted with magic crystals so they're pretty resistant against physical attacks but magic attacks should work against them yeah if you notice this she's nervous Yep. She's trying to deny it, though. Yeah, not only is she nervous, she hasn't used much magic up to this point in her life, so she is... anxious as hell. New unit! Mikei. Alright, we can start with a physical attack. Notice it has 53 defense, or magic to attack, it has 6 defense. I did that on purpose. Really, I did. If you know what you're doing, you're going to switch over to this other skill. And let's see. In addition... Equip these shoes instead of her own shoes. This gives us a speed boost, which should let us get three attacks off. I like so. Now that we're engaging in a physical attack, it'll throw a counter attack, which hits 1% of the time. But since it's not defending it, we'll only have three defense. And with the boots on, we get three attacks. So, this should be pretty easy. If you don't run it like this and you just use that ranged magic attack, odds are you won't defeat this enemy in the turns you have. You still get Mikeu in your party, but there's a slight change in the... But there's a slight change in the cutscene that follows, and you don't get the item that this thing drops. And I guess you lost, you would lose out on those 50 experience as well. This is an underworld stone. It raises magic defense. This is a pretty nice cutscene when you succeed at it. She's really excited for herself. Well, obviously, right? Now, we cleared the stage, but we didn't complete all the objectives, which means we can come back here later. I want to point out this last one. 
It says, defeat a total of 20 enemies. And I'm pretty sure you don't have to do that all in one run. Although I will in a few minutes here. So, that's a success and everybody's happy for her. Pachi Pachi Pachi, in case you didn't know, is the sound people make when they clap their hands. Yeah, she's kind of surprised she's, she's uh, passed as well. But she can always fall back on the fact that she's so talented. Well, she's excited to be able to use her magic, but they also do a lot of cleaning and it's kind of manual labor is going to be part of her job. <laughs> yeah, we're going to force the manual labor on a weak little girl. Actually, I think you're supposed to fail at that because the other cutscene was much longer. But we got the Underworld Stone, which is pretty awesome. Now, now we're going to a different setting. This line confused me at once. It says we're talking about some guy who wears armor. And I was thinking, all I know is that one prick and it's not anything but ornamental. Well, he does wear armor. Maybe it isn't just ornamental. Uh, there's the two swords as well. Like, you know, I'm not taking this guy seriously. He seems like a mid-boss. In the middle of the game we'll fight him and then in the end game when everything starts hitting the fan. He's going to get on our side just to pretend like he's a good guy. And we're going to tell the whole party to kill him and they're not going to. But anyway, he's in this place and he doesn't like it here. Well, this little girl is greeting him and inviting him to play with dolls or play mommy. <laughs> yeah, she's jerking his chain. Now they talk about things they already know as if to let us know what they know about each other. So she's known him since he was a little guy. And even though he's grown up a little bit, her impression of him has not changed that much. That's what it means to have an impression. And now he's going to mock her for being a monster that can't age. He asks what it feels like to not grow old or die. Seems like it's alright, and I would agree with her. But, what's he doing here today? <laughs> he came with a souvenir. Well, it's tasty fried candies and so on and so on, pleasantries, pleasantries. Well, 
Well, for the first time, I actually like what he's saying because he's cutting the pleasantries and getting to the business. He wants her to get her spirits working. She asks if there's been a war started with one of the neighboring countries. He says it's a good guess, but in this case, he just wants to secure a certain castle. That's right, a castle that can move. It, he's thinking of it as a useful war machine. But there are some worthless uh, squatters in it. And he's very concerned about it. Alright, she gets what he's saying. And he's pleased at how quickly she picks it up. She's got a female knight. He's got a female knight that he thinks could learn from her. She asks for something she'd like to confirm first, and he lists a few things off. But what she actually wants to confirm is if he's got permission from the king. She always has uh, orders, order documents rather, with the king's seal on them. Oh, look at that face he's making. As she thought, this is something he's launching on his own initiative. And she tells him that if she's going to use her, he needs to do it properly. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but apparently she, from the beginning, had no right to refuse him. So apparently she, some, she is some kind of criminal and shouldn't get it uppity about these formalities. He just wants her to obey orders, which is kind of like he treats that other woman. Hmm, funny. At this point, he says that she can't disobey him as long as her body has that curse on it. You know, apparently, this causes some reaction in her blood getting cold. Whether that's just chills running down her spine or something he actually causes directly, can't tell. Now she says something sad here. She says he's right, and she has to obey the orders of the royal family. 
as she is just a puppet without free will. Alright, so when can she move? She'll be able to move fairly soon. But she has to do it in a way that the king doesn't notice. その通りだ。ルース王家のためにその身を削れ。総霊師ロズリーヌ。Yeah, here we go. We finally get a name. There you go. Work in the name of the Ruth Oil. Ruth. That is a lame name. The Ruth family. Hmm. I wouldn't call her a necromancer because she only works with spirits rather than other undead. So, Ghost Wielder, perhaps? Anyway, her title, Ghost Wielder Rosaline. Alright, she says she's certainly going to secure the castle. So that's that. Now Mikea's here. Mm. Yeah, that hasn't changed. Now our new priority will be to build this. It's a magic training facility. As you can see, it takes a stone and five magic ores. So that'll take a bit of work. Stone and magic ore. No. Stone and magic ore. Okay, if I'm lucky, this will work. If I'm not, it'll take like six tenths. Oh. Cutscene. So now that we've got enough allies, it's time to talk about order power. This is, um, let's call it authority. And no tutorial for you. Yep, she's leaving it to us. <clears throat> so the short thing is, down here you have this gauge. Every time you deploy a character, the gauge will fill up part way by this and that, the cost. Navarro is free to deploy and Fia is pretty cheap. Mikeu and Karin are getting up there. But at this point we don't have to worry about going over 45. But if we did, then all the expenditures for fatigue would be doubled. And trust me, when your yes. fatigue is doubled, Fatigue spent is doubled. You start running out of fatigue real quick. Mm. Let's see how well Mikio can handle a bat. Suitably well, I think. <laughs> I wonder if she's got an unusually high crit rate. Oh. Yeah, that's right. This skill I put on her, I think has a... Yeah. In the middle there you can see a item with plus 10 next to it. That means it has a plus 10 chance to get a critical hit. So in a normal circumstance it would be like 2 or 3, but now it's 12 or 13. But I'm just here to mine. Haha. <laughs> 
sucker. Ah, the rare drop. This is the Earth Spirit's necklace. Just like the Water Spirit necklace we saw last time, this increases a uh, an elemental resistance. Man, this is going to be a pain. You just wait there, Karin. Mikio's coming to help. Okay, as far as range attacks go, I guess we'll have to equip that other one. Nope. That range attack was Mikeu using her book. Which relies on her physical attack, which is pathetic. So if I equip the spell, she'll be able to work properly. Still. See, even if he resists it, she gets three attacks, and I think that was a 100% hit rate. Bam. Did you observe that red slime? He might have been surprised by the fact that it got to Fia. But red slimes actually have an ability that... Can it? Red slimes also have an ability that occasionally fires off. Oh, there you go. 20% of the time they will get two moves instead of one. So it moved once to take control of the feather and then once again to attack Fia. Not that being out of feather is going to help, but they don't have that much life. Now I'm just here for the mining. I'm just here for the mining, but I'm going to do the gathering herbs as well because... That's the right way to do things. That appeared to have to kill it. Just wait one second here. Alright, bye bye. Now will it provide the materials I need? Okay. It gave me no stone whatsoever and only three magic ores. So we'll have to try again. よし、行くぜ。出撃。
Hey, perfect. This is so much easier when you kill yourself by attacking me. Oh, this is nice. Magic deck, which is important for Fia. Okay, this time I'm really only after the items for mining. Still no stone, and this time I don't even get magic ore. This can be frustrating. よし、行くぜ。出撃。行きます。お友達守る。行動開始だ。もらっておこう。Stupid bats and their stupid bat dodging. Alright, this time I'm sure to get the items I need. Yeah. Well, I got the stone I needed, but not the magic ore. And it keeps giving me white magic ore, which I can't use. Hmm. Okay, now that my mining level is down... Oops. It won't give me white magic ore anymore, so perhaps this will raise the odds of the stuff I want. Yes, Ah, 
行動開始だもらっておこう見つけましたはいマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコーマジコ Comes to Guaracuna to make a request of us. Ben Li Nano are in Dakado. Toto high cousin to stay coenda, you know, Coco Nandaka Mayo is so does it. It's nice that it's convenient, but it's so big that you can get lost in it. And at that point, something appears. He didn't hear any footsteps. And there it goes. Perfectly normal. Oh, it happens to walk through a wall. Yeah, those are the options. See something, freak out. So, there's a rumor that there's a ghost appearing in around the castle. Well, now, Avara hasn't heard. Yep, people coming with requests have mentioned it. Go through walls and things. So, has anybody been attacked by it? Yeah, nobody's been hurt, but it's scary. Bleh. Okay, fine. Well, it is an old castle. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody died in it and、uh, didn't leave. But this is the first time these things have gotten in range of the. have gotten in the. in sight of the customers. And it'll be troublesome if our. business goes down, so we better look into it. Now she's making it out to be some kind of haunted house date. Give me a break. She says, Yes, of course it's a date. Whenever she's out with Avaro, it's a date. Yeah, okay. So now we can make this other thing. But I think I'm good enough for today. So I will see you next time, YouTube.